Welcome to the channel Maths for Graduates. Today we will see the proof of Schwarz lemma. So the statement of the theorem is we have function f from unit disk d to complex plane c and this function f is a holomorphic function. Okay, Holomorphic function means function is analytic in unit disk d. Okay, And unit disk d can be defined as we can define disk as z from complex plane and modulus of z is less than 1 okay and further conditions are if modulus of f of z is less than 1 and f of 0 is 0 then modulus of f of z is less than equals to modulus of z okay so this is the statement of Schwarz lemma now let's prove this theorem okay So it is given that function f of z is holomorphic. That means f of z is analytic in D. Now let's consider a function. Consider a function g of z. f of z over z provided z is not equal to zero. Okay. Since f of z is analytic in D. So, this function g of z is analytic in disk D except origin. Okay. We are not sure about the analyticity of g of z at origin. Okay. Now, let us figure out whether g of z is analytic at origin or not. Okay. Since function f of z is analytic so, we can write its power series expansion. Okay. So, writing the power series of function f of z centered at z equals to 0, we have f of z equals to f of 0 plus z f prime 0 plus z square over factorial 2 f double prime 0 plus z cube over factorial 3 f triple prime 0 and so on okay and it is given that f of 0 is 0 so we can write f of z as this equals to 0 plus z f prime 0 plus z square over factorial 2 f double prime 0 plus z cube over factorial 3 f triple prime 0 and so on okay we can also write this function as f of z equals to taking z common so we have f prime 0 plus z over factorial 2 f double prime 0 plus z square over factorial 3 f triple prime 0 and so on so from here we have f of z over z this equals to f prime 0 plus z over factorial 2 f double prime 0 plus z square over factorial 3 f triple prime 0 and so on okay this is nothing but g of z okay so we have here g of z this equals to this series So, in that hand side, we have a convergent series. Okay. So, we can conclude that this function z of z is also analytic at point z equals to 0. We have g of z is analytic at point z equals to 0. That means, g of z is analytic in unit disk d okay till now we have function z of z is analytic in unit disk d okay disk d is let me draw this is unit disk d now let's draw a circle of radius r this is circle of radius r okay now in circle modulus of z equals to r 
function z of z is analytic okay now from maximum modulus principle maximum of function z of z lies on the boundary of this circle modulus of z equals to r okay now let me write maximum value for this function z of z so function z of z this will be equals to modulus of function f of z over z okay so from the property of modulus we can also write this as modulus of f of z over modulus of z okay now we can say that this is less than equals to 1 over r why 1 over r because it is given that modulus of f of z is less than equals to 1 and modulus of z equals to r right okay so from here we have modulus of z of z is less than equals to 1 over r okay now if we tend r to 1 minus y 1 minus because disc d does not include the boundary okay so when we take this limit to modulus of g of z is less than equals to 1 okay and this implies g of z is f of z over z is less than equals to 1 and from here we have modulus of f of z is less than equals to modulus of z okay this completes the proof now let's see a question based on this concept this question has been appeared in csr net exam june 2014 in this question we have a unit disc d and function f of z is holomorphic function from disc d to closure of disc d okay since disc d is a unit disc so closure of disc d will also be a unit disc okay so from this we can conclude that all the images lying inside unit disc okay so we can conclude that modulus of f of z will be less than equals to 1 okay so that means first condition is fulfilling here okay and second condition is already given okay so you can see all the conditions of swarz lemma is being fulfilled here that means we can apply swarz lemma okay so from swarz lemma we can say that modulus of f of z will be less than equals to modulus of z and there is one more result associated with swarz lemma is that modulus of f prime z will be less than equals to 1 okay from these two result will solve this problem so in option we have to find f of 1 over 3 okay so from swarz lemma f of 1 over 3 it will be less than equals to 1 over 3 that means equals to 1 by 3 so we have from swarz lemma that modulus of f of 1 over 3 is less than equals to 1 over 3 now let's see option c okay in option c it is given that f of 1 over 3 is 1 by 2 which is not less than 1 by 3 that means this option is incorrect okay in option b it is given that f of 1 over 3 is 1 by 4 which is less than 1 over 3 so option b is correct right okay now let's find f prime of 0 so from this second result we have f prime 0 will be less than equals to 1 okay now in option d it is given that f prime 0 is equals to sec pi by 6 and we know that sec pi by 6 value is 2 over root 3 which is not less than 1 so this option is also incorrect and in option a f prime 0 is half which is less than 1 so option a is correct okay in this question option a and option b are correct so this video ends here i hope you have learned something from this video then don't forget to subscribe this channel and i have a quick announcement to make 
those students who are preparing for exams like csr net gate and other msc entrance examination can buy our complex and handy notes for a very reasonable price for only rupees 50 so if you are interested you can contact us through this whatsapp number thank you thanks for watching